everyone. If you guys want to know what my new year hair goals are, keep on watching. So first of all, happy new year, you guys. This video will come out a little bit late just because uh, the last photo that I posted on my Instagram went completely viral showing this new hairstyle that I'm rocking as a protective style for this month. And I want to thank everyone for liking it so much and tagging me in numerous things and just getting so many new followers. I'm so happy with it and to the new people, welcome to my channel and I hope you guys will enjoy it. If you guys haven't seen the video how to achieve this hairdo, then just go to the previous video or click the link below. Click the link below. I just wanted to make a cute short video telling you guys what my hair goals are for this year just to give myself like that push to achieve it for this year and just yeah, let's get started. So first off, I think simplicity is key and I just want to keep it as simple as possible this year and one thing that I do know is that I am not going to dye my hair lighter and I'm really going to try my best not to even dye it at all. As you guys already know and seen in my previous videos is that I think it's almost already two years ago I dyed my hair kind of blonde, a honey blonde color. Although I enjoyed it, it was a lot of maintenance and I do think that it did cause some damage and that's just something that I don't want to do again and I actually think that my natural hair color suits me the best. I'm just happy with this color and I think that I can rock with this for a while. So that's my first thing for this year. Second thing is that I'm going to trim more often. I note, I've noticed that especially with this Dutch weather, my ends really have a hard time maintaining their self or at least to stay healthy. So I want to trim uh, at least twice this year. Um, and get a cut once but I don't know when or where or how I have still no idea yet. Angela if you rewatch this when it, you have a hard time just snip it off another thing that I really want to focus on this year is trying to find a good routine and keeping it simple I've noticed that I was doing way too many things and manipulating my hair too much and then I wanted this and then I wanted that. I just want to keep it simple and just make it easier for me to maintain. So I want to wash and condition a max twice a week and I want to deep condition once a week and do a protein treatment whenever needed. Another thing is that I actually really want to um, experiment more with braiding with um, synthetic hair. So I'm thinking about getting box braids, but there are some projects that are coming up uh, which makes me unable to do that for now. But it's definitely something that I want to try out. I've had them when I was little and I kind of like them and I think it will give my hair a little break of all the manipulation. So I think that I'll do that very soon. And just trying to have a protective style at least three months of the whole year. I think that that's a good aim. If I'm able to do it more, then it will be even better. But I know myself, I know that I like showing off my hair. So I don't think that I'll be able to do that. But I think at least three months would be easy for me to do. So guys, that's it. Short, simple, and I think that everyone should do that. Don't make it too complicated. Keep it simple so you guys can understand it yourself. And just try to go with the flow. Listen to your hair, but don't overdo it. Thank you guys for watching. My question to you guys is, what are your 2016 hair goals? I'm really wondering. So put it down below. I would love to see it. And comment, rate, subscribe, do it all. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.